from New York City, it's the Wendy Williams Show. Today, from Mariah Carey's next move to Melissa McCarthy's drastic weight loss, Wendy's breaking down today's juiciest hot topics, and funny lady Whitney Cummings hits the couch with hilarious stories about dating in Hollywood. Plus, Dr. Gadget is here with this season's hottest home gear. Now. I love you also. What to say about Bill Cosby? Oh. More fallout. Well, um, everybody knows by now about the sexual abuse allegations. Um, NBC pulled the plug on an upcoming television show that they were going to be doing with him. Netflix postponed his comedy special. We talked to you about that yesterday. And I said, well, I wonder what TV Land's going to do. Because, you know, on Saturdays, every Saturday, TV Land has got a marathon of the Cosby show. And then looking ahead to the TV Land schedule, they were planning on, like, like double, triple marathoning for the holidays. Because, you know, that was the perfect show to sit around and watch with the whole family, you know. But instead, TV Land has now pulled the plug on the Cosby reruns. Um, well, no, say it like you mean it. Some of you clapped and then you stopped because you weren't clapping with other people. <laughs> Clap if you think that this is a good idea. Clap if you think it's a horrible idea. You've got to separate the man from the scandal. Yeah. It's kind of sad. You know what I mean? No more goldfish funerals. No more. Remember that episode? No more Theo's room's a mess. No more hoagies in the kitchen with orange soda. What are we going to do? Well... Cosby is refusing to uh, cancel his stand-up tour so you can see him tell jokes, only I don't know what's so funny now. <laughs> if you happen to be in, uh, at Paradise Island, Atlantis, uh, he will be there tonight telling jokes. <laughs> see, I don't find anything funny at this point, but I guess the show must go on for the cause. Uh, tomorrow night, he's going to be in Melbourne, Florida, telling jokes. I, I, who shows up to that? And then, do you boo? Do you just show up to stare? Do you wait until the verdict is in, if there's a verdict at all? Because, you know, you're, you're innocent until proven guilty in this country? Like, what do you do? I don't know, but I know one thing. Tomorrow, um, for Friday, I've got my Hot Talk Roundtable people coming in, and we're going to talk more about the Cosby scandal, so make sure you tune in. You know, I've always told you all I love a Vegas residency for my aging divas who still sing very well who we would like to see. Like, I love that Celine Dion did one. I like that Jennifer Lopez is going to be doing one. Um, Britney Spears is not an aging diva, but certainly, you know, she's going through a situation. So it's nice, <laughs> it's nice for her to be in one place as she heals and performs. Um, well, Mariah Carey is one of those people that never did that until now. She is, yeah. Mariah wants a residency, and I think that this is a terrific idea. I do. Sidebar, I think that Janet Jackson is one of those uh, people who needs a residency as well. You know what I mean? Like, don't make new music. Just sing the old stuff, and we'll all show up. So, Mariah wants a residency, but she doesn't want to do it in Vegas. 
Reportedly, she wants to do her residency in either Connecticut or Atlantic City, New Jersey. You like that idea? I like that idea as well, only because she'll be more accessible to us. Like, I, I would go see... I mean, I'd prefer if it was in my home state of Jersey uh, than, than Connecticut. And... And, um, you know, Connecticut, how, how you doing, Connecticut? But the reason that I needed to be in Atlantic City is because Atlantic City has turned into a dump. Yeah. Now, don't talk about my state unless you live here. Oh, there's a gnat in here. <laughs> you know, I get, my, my feelings get hurt when you talk about my state and you don't live here. But I'm Jersey to the bone, so I can talk real, okay? Can we talk? <laughs> Atlantic City is a dump. And the last time that I was on the beach in Atlantic City, there were tampons and chicken bones <laughs> and cigarette butts. You know, like, it just... Ugh. But don't you talk about my state. <laughs> they're, they're closing those casinos and crime is high and the economy is bad. And my father's from Atlantic City. And I've got family that still live in Atlantic City. And, and they, they tell about how it is. All you have to do is ride there and see how it is. So my thought is that Mariah Carey could be the savior to the state of New Jersey and the city of Atlantic City. <laughs> Mariah Carey is somebody that people would go to Atlantic City, I think, to see Mariah Carey, you know? Um, now, will they be spending money on the hotels and the casinos and stuff? I don't know. The casinos are, and hotels are closing left and right. The, right, the economy is very bad. Quite honestly, I think that she doesn't want to be in Vegas because it's going to be too much pressure with all those other girls out there. And I think that Mariah's confidence might be shook at this particular point between the criticism about her voice and her weight and the divorce. And she's not realizing the great singer that she is. Even when she cracks her voice, she sounds better than most of these girls on the hit parade. <laughs> You know, no, I'm not a lamb like a Mariah super fan, but I can, you know, call it the way I see it. And the way I see it is she's not a bad-looking woman, not even when she gains weight. You know, she's not a horrible singer, even on her worst day. And um, she loses Nick, she'll get another. Yeah. What, what, um... Yeah. But I feel like... Like, you know, Jennifer's about to go there, and you know Jennifer's going to blow the roof off. And I think that Mariah is not in the competition game with these girls because I don't think that she thinks that she can compete, which, you know, everybody in my Hot Topics meeting happened to have agreed that also. I like Mariah. She wanted to come here last year, but then she wanted me to sit on the other side of the couch so that she can be photos. <laughs> True story. True story. I'm not giving up my seat as the host for a guest. So she could be photographed from the left. Apparently, you know, she says her left is her best side. I mean, I only choose that side of the couch just because I have to sit someplace consistently every day. Who are these people who have a best side, left or right? Clap if you have a better side. <laughs> oh. Well, then maybe I'm the odd one. <laughs> I mean, I only have one dimple, so usually when I... Every time I wear a part, I always part my hair over here so that it goes over here so you can see my dimple. <laughs> but, but I don't consider that my better side. I consider that, Wendy, just pick a side and part your damn hair. <laughs> so I part it on the same side all the... Anyway, I wasn't giving up my seat, so we missed out on Mariah, because I'm sorry I'm not doing that. But anyway, Mariah, don't let it shake you. Now, you get down there to Atlantic City, and you make some money for New Jersey, and we'll all be there to see you. Do you know Melissa McCarthy, Jenny McCarthy's cousin? Yeah. Well, Melissa's been known as the funny big girl all of her life. And so now, and she was also one of those girls who fiercely defended, like, I might be big, but I'm fine and I'm healthy, and, you know, like defense mechanism. Turns out, I guess that's not how she really felt, because she went on a diet. <laughs> this is Melissa before. She lost 45 pounds. Here's Melissa after. Yeah. Now, I know. Look! Nice job. Reportedly, she didn't go on the diet because she felt pressure from society, but she wants to be healthy for her two kids and her husband. Yup, she's married. Um, there's her husband. 
They make a nice looking couple, don't they? Yes. Um, she says that she doesn't want to lose too much weight because she's nervous that you all won't see her as, you know, the niche that she's developed for herself, which is a funny, you know, um, fluffy lady. I don't know. I, I think, like, Lisa Lampanelli lost a lot of weight. You know what I mean? She's like a whole nother person now. And, and I don't know whether stand-up is different than being funny on a sitcom, but I know that Lisa lost a lot of weight, and she hasn't lost a beat of humor. As a matter of fact, she'll be here um, for Thanksgiving, Lisa Lampanelli. Oh. But back to Melissa McCarthy. I don't know. Do you think that, you know, by her, if she, like, lost down like Lampanelli did, do you think that she could still be funny on the sitcom, Mike and Molly? Yeah. yeah. I think so also. Whitney Cummings is here, so I'm going to ask her about that a little bit later on. So, Miss Franklin, if you just stop talking, it will go away, Miss Franklin. I'm speaking of our friend Aretha Franklin. Now, she's firing back at rumors about her. Now, you know there's this unauthorized biography that's been assigned reading here on the Wendy staff. <laughs> since it came out late in October. <laughs> and you don't just read around here, you read with a highlighter. And then you dog ear the pages. Um, okay, so this unauthorized biography is alleging that she's always been jealous of other divas. So now Aretha's speaking out and she talked to the National Enquirer. I know! The Enquirer called her, ring, hello. And she picked up the phone. <laughs> so here's what Aretha says about um, speaking out or being jealous. This business that I'm supposed to be jealous of Diana Ross, Barbara Streisand, or Whitney Houston is just plain crazy. After 18 Grammy Awards, the Presidential Medal of Freedom, the National Medal of Arts, and other awards, far too many to mention, please give me one reason why I would be jealous of any one of them. <laughs> Some people would say, thou doth protest too much. <laughs> Miss Franklin, if you would just leave this alone. All right, the unauthorized biography actually came, I was telling you last week. Um, Aretha, a few years ago, did her memoir. And in the memoir, you know, she put a lot of stuff that after reading the manuscript, before they turned it into the editor, Miss Franklin decided she didn't want this stuff included. So she rips this out, this out, this out, and this out. Her ghostwriter apparently picked all this stuff up, <laughs> put it in a vault someplace, and waited for, well, this book now that we're reading with a highlighter, the unauthorized uh, biography. Um, do I think that she's jealous? <laughs> And you want to know why? Because why are you talking? Like, why are you even... Why are you even... Miss Franklin, why are you even giving this book legs, you know? Because the more you talk, the more we're curious about what's in the book. It's like last week when we were talking about how he said you were promiscuous at 13, 14, and 15. If you didn't say anything about this book, we wouldn't have... Known, like, we wouldn't have cared. And Miss Franklin, you're only 72 years old. In other words, young, young. She's acting like an 82-year-old now. Um, you know, Miss Franklin, I remember years ago. See, I wouldn't even be telling this story, Miss Franklin, if you didn't talk to the Enquirer and talking about this stupid book. Okay, so years ago, um, at the Grammys, Miss Franklin told me Detroit watching the Grammys on TV, and Beyonce uh, introduces Tina Turner. They're both at the Grammys, and when Beyonce introduced Tina, Beyonce called her the Queen. So the next day, it's out there for Miss Franklin, who apparently is sitting home watching with a snack, and she says... <laughs> no, we all, don't, we all watch TV with a snack. Anyway, um, look. She said, I don't know what I... Something to the effect of, I don't know what I did to piss off Beyonce or the Grammys. Something about, like, there's only one queen. Oh. And I'm just like, oh, my gosh, Miss Franklin, please, stop acting so childish. <laughs> And you know what? You want to know what? It was suggested, which I don't go along with this, that the next time they ask you about one of the other divas, do like Mariah does to Jennifer Lopez and say, I don't know who that is. <laughs> now, Miss Franklin, 
I want you to stop talking. If you stop talking, this will go away. Besides, people are paying attention to Bill Cosby right now, so here's your chance to dead the book and the idea of people reading it. So, as we know, um, Bow Wow is engaged. Yeah. Oh, you didn't know that? Okay. Bow Wow is engaged to a young lady by the name of Erica Mena. At, and, um, and she's from the Love and Hip Hop show. Wait, put that picture back. Is that at my birthday party? Yup. Look at the AARP sign down there. Like, she, she's old. And <laughs> she. <laughs> Little John being at a party at AARP <laughs> is so damn weird. You're getting turned down and you're falling down and breaking your hip at the same time. <laughs> anyway, um, listen, two very nice people, but I am going to be very honest with you as I usually am. So she told Vibe magazine that she's leaving reality TV when they get married. Here's her quote, and I'm gonna tell you why I don't believe they'll ever get married. Just calling it the way I see it. Both two lovely people. <laughs> it's very difficult to do this job right here in this purple chair, I swear. Okay, look. Um, here's what she says. It's time to be a wife. It's time to be the woman my man needs. My man don't need... <laughs> she might have meant doesn't need, but whatever. <laughs> my man don't need a girl that's on TV. My man needs a girl by his side. That's really what it's about right now for me. Well, I can appreciate that. Um, okay, and so they're planning on getting married in April. Um, between now and April, I guarantee you something is going to happen where, and, and I'm going to tell you what's going to happen, Love and Hip Hop with this girl returns to TV December 15th. Okay, now, now look, now look. There are going to be at least three to five incidences that go on with Erica Mena, who, by the way, is sexually fluid. Um, yes. She, she likes boys. She likes girls. Yes, every, everybody's got a shot. Um, but look, look. Like, and again, Erica, you're a lovely girl. Bow out. Wow, you've been my guy for a long time. But what is going to happen is... She says this is her last season of uh, Love and Hip Hop, but it airs, like I said, beginning on December 15th, and there are going to be at least three to five things that go on with her during that show that his mom, his cousins, his male friends, social media is going to ask him, why would you marry that? <laughs> that's it. That's, that's it. That's, that's it. You know? Um, the smart thing for Erica would have been to, it, in my opinion, get the ring and then go right down to City Hall the next day before this gets messed up due to, due to people getting in his ear and telling him, well, why are you marrying her? And I get it, Bow Wow. You might be thinking, well, you know, Kanye married Kim. <laughs> I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying, but there's no comparison, you know, because Kim comes with her own empire, and not that money is everything, but it sure does help when you're the only one making it in your household. Um, Erica, if she leaves reality TV, I don't... By the way, you know she used to be a sales girl at Dash? Yeah. Oh, you did know that? Yeah. Was that on TV? Yeah. Is everything on TV these days? Yeah. Damn it, man. <laughs> anyway, um, um, so, you know, 106 and Park is over, so that's one check down. You know what I mean? He was the host of 106 in Park on BET. Uh, but remember, he goes by the name Shad Moss. Now he's grown up, and he's now on CSI Cyber. So that's a nice check. But... I just don't think, in conclusion, I just don't think that this marriage is going to happen because something is going to happen with her during this season of Love and Hip Hop, several things, and people, are, people that he respects and cares about or is too um, young to, to get their voices out of his head. Anyway, people are going to talk him out of it. Now, clap if you think that this marriage will never happen. <laughs> clap if you think that it will happen. Clap if you have no idea what the heck I'm talking about. <laughs> Do you know who John Mayer is? Yeah. Okay. Well, um, he has what they call rich people problems. 
Okay, so he just celebrated his 37th birthday, and he went for dinner with three friends. So it was the four of them. And at the end of the meal, no one grabbed the check. So John paid for his own birthday dinner. His friends reportedly assumed that he'd be paying because he's the rich celebrity. See, this is insane to me. It is insane. This makes me crazy. So I looked up the restaurant. The restaurant is called Chaconi's. Okay, it's in L.A. All right, the meatball appetizer is $10. Let me tell you something. An appetizer for Cheesecake Factory is $10. In other words, that is expensive for a meatball appetizer. But what I'm trying to tell you is that this was not one of those big fon, fon, fon. <gasps> Go celebrity places. Okay, now the lobster spaghetti was $34. Now they do have truffle pizza, and that was $34. That's a bit pricey. But I did, uh, got out the adding machine and estimated that, you know, with 20% tax and four people eating and a few glasses of wine and bought bottles of wine, the bill might have been about $373.75. <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry, $673.75. But, uh, like, I don't care if his, fr his other three friends are school teacher, ditch digger, and, you know, a plumber, not the owner of the plumbing company. You mean to tell me that you all couldn't pull in $100 a piece for your friend John and pay this bill? And, you know... I'm no John Mayer, but, you know, I have a degree of success, and I also, I'm from Jersey, so when I leave this place, I go back, I know regular people in a regular town, and I do regular people things. But I have to tell you something. I am not the one to be grabbing the check and splashing it up for my school teacher friends or my principal friend or whatever. You agreed to come out for lunch. We're not going, you know, to the big place in town. <sighs> you know, we're not going to go to Legal Seafood over at the Short Hills Mall or something like that. Oh. <laughs> Cheesecake Factory or Nero's or something. You know, we're going to go someplace, you know, regularly priced. We're going to have a nice lunch. And I have this way of telling, because I'm just that girl. I have this way of telling my friends, like, I'll be like, all right, you know, you free? You want to go out for lunch? Let's hold on. You, you want to go out for lunch? Okay, this is not an invitation of a treat, so don't forget your wallet. <laughs> That's it. Yes, I am that girl. And this is that show. We've got more great show for you. <laughs> show you this season's hottest gadgets. Dr. Gadget is here. Plus, more Wendy watchers are going to have a chance to jump into our rain, make some money boost, and win big dough. But up next, the very funny Whitney Cummings is here, so don't go away. So many hot topics. I called in reinforcements. Pull up a seat for an all-new hot talk panel. They're going to make the money that they're there to make. Seriously? Huh. Brooklyn Nine-Nine, Chelsea Peretti. We're getting our laugh on. <laughs> Tomorrow on an all-new Wendy. is the co-creator of the hit show Two Broke Girls, and she's also a very funny stand-up stand comedian. Please welcome back to our show, Whitney Cummings. Hi, 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 hi. Hi, hi. You look great. You look great. Thank you. Oh, my God, I love you. Thank hi, you. Thank hi. you. Hi. Hi. I love a T-shirt and a skirt. I love this. Oh. Oh. Whitney? I can't stand it. You're being inappropriate. I'm sorry. Can I just... Can I just motorboat you one time? No. You'd have to... There's a very long line for people who <laughs> want to do that. Line. You are just heaven. Thank you. Love it. Um, and you and your curves. I, I mean, didn't recognize these last time that you were here. I put on a little weight that I'm very proud of. Oh, good. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. you. And, um, yeah, I just... I, the skinny's out. Skinny's gross. It's not... Cute. Not into it. So you intentionally put on weight. That must have been fun. What do you eat? I, I eat bacon and I do lunges all day. That's pretty much it. 
because yeah. it's, it's working. Thank you, because you know, I feel like when I was working in television and there's so much pressure to be thin, yes. and I saw myself on camera one day and I was just like, oh, like I'm, I am, that is no guy. If a guy thinks that's sexy, he's gay. Okay. <laughs> and so I was just like, this trend of being skinny, I feel like, I don't even know why girls do it. I think we all think the guys like it. The guys don't like it. So yeah. we just, I just want to call an end to the skinny trend. The skinny I'm trend. Over it. Everybody have something to eat. Over hey, it. Hey, we were talking about Melissa McCarthy and Hot Topics. Right, right. So do you think that um, her losing even more weight right. down to being thin right. will affect her comedy? I mean, Melissa's such a genius. I don't think her weight really has anything to do with why she's so successful, you know? I mean... For me, that's like the same thing as saying someone's beautiful or talented because they're skinny, you know? It's right. the same thing. But I think weight in Hollywood is such an interesting issue. Because, you know, whenever, like, a like a man in Hollywood loses a bunch of weight, he, like, wins an Oscar, yeah. you know? Like, Matthew McConaughey wins all this weight for that Dallas Buyers but, Club. But Jonah Hill put his weight back that's on. That's right, he did. But I just hate when, like, guys in Hollywood, like, if they lose a bunch of weight and look really skinny, they win an Oscar and yes. it's, like, a big deal. It's like, that's how every actress is all the time. Like, <laughs> they're like, I had to starve myself and only eat apples and chicken. I'm like, yeah, welcome to being a woman. <laughs> okay. Do you have a boyfriend? I am seeing someone at the moment. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. Now, how Thank long has you. this been going on? Uh, two weeks. <laughs> It's, that's, that's new, but I was dating someone before who finally, I think men, I, I call everybody, all guys, to say to your woman, like, that you're comfortable with their body. Like, I finally had a guy give me permission to put on weight. He was like, you're too skinny. Like, I need something to grab. The relationship was a disaster, and he was a total jerk. It didn't work out. But I at least got that out of it. So yeah. give your woman, like, a little positive reinforcement. And I saw a picture of you on Instagram uh -oh. um, from the Kim paper magazine with your head popped on. Very funny. Anyway, <laughs> that's that's not Kim. That is not photoshopped at all. That's just me. <laughs> uh, what did you think about the whole spread? I think the here's the thing. I mean, there will always be women showing their butts. I just she's a mother now. My thing is like, get your butt off the internet and go take care of your child. You know what I mean? Huh. I think it's that. I think it's like you have a husband now. Like it's time to hang up the. You know the, the pinup girl, pin girl thing. It's time to be a mother, and like there's there's plenty of other women who will show their butts who don't have kids. Let's right. Let them still <laughs> like get them in line. <laughs> I wish I wish you would do that. I, I thought that was your front. I'm a mother. I'm a, no, I have no. Her behind. back looks like your front. Yeah. I would I would agree. I would agree. But the thing is, these days, like you can't have a lot of both. You can't have a lot. Of both. Why not? I think you have to pick one or the one other. One or the other. It's like it's like whack-a-mole. You have to. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> you can't have it everywhere. So I I feel like you should get a little that way you'll be balanced. I'm afraid you're gonna tip over. Uh, that's what that's what they say. I'm shaped like a capital P. Yeah. I do my own joke about that, but I'm not gonna get a breast reduction because no. the the scars are too ridiculous. You get those anchor scars. And right? I don't like that, and my husband no. loves these, and so do I. You're perfect. You're perfect. So they're implants, by the way. Oh, yeah. I, I don't care what they are. <laughs> Just <laughs> Thank keep, you. keep them in my face Thank at all you. times. <laughs> um, I heard that you try online dating. I did. I get think that's on, terrific. I got on Tinder. Has anyone been on Tinder? One person. You're, you're all on it. You're all. On it. Don't lie to me. I mean, here's the thing. At first, I thought, like, oh, this is gross. But I think it's now, like, the new way to just meet people, yeah. you know? It's like, um, I I'm busy and things are crazy. I guess Tinder, you could always just, like, go outside and meet people. But I don't like to <laughs> leave my house. Well, and my, my thing is that if you're single and you want to be in a relationship, then you, you cast your rod in all the waters and see what you pull up. You just, I find, just be open-minded. Now, I know that you're really good friends with Chelsea Handler. Yes. And I know that Chelsea keeps an active social life, uh, uh, you know, between Cabo and L.A. and you all hanging out. And Betty Ford. And Betty Ford. Does she, um, does she try to hook you up with friends? Chelsea fancies herself my pimp. And anytime <laughs> we go anywhere, she just gives my phone number to strangers. I mean, it's dangerous. Like, literal strangers. They get a phone call. Someone's like, hey, Chelsea gave me your number. I'm like, okay, who are you? He's like, I'm the valet at the Hotel Bel Air. <laughs> Like, I need to change my number. I mean, she's just outrageous. It's, it must be good to have funny friends. It's good. It's good. But I'd rather, rather... Here's the thing.
thing about Tinder is like is is I got off of it not only because Chelsea helps me meet complete strange <laughs> dangerous strangers, but um, is the guys on it? Have you seen any of the photos of guys on Tinder? No. You have to because guys taking selfies is so hilarious because you guys have no idea. Half of them it's guys in the front seat of their car with a seatbelt on <laughs> taking a seat. It's like all that tells me is that your wife is in the house, <laughs> and this is the only time you have. Good observation. Your, what are you doing? And then the other main one, I think you would like this. The other main one is guys like at the gym, like taking a photo in the mirror at the gym. I'm like, all that tells me is that you're unemployed. <laughs> and I don't need that. <laughs> so congratulations on Venetian. You know, yes. I did that lipstick thing. I know. And yeah, you're a part of Everybody lipstick. Everybody just wants to see you. So thank you, because you're in Vegas at the Venetian. No, I, I did my two nights uh, over Halloween you're weekend. You're not doing it anymore? No, I mean, oh. the, the rest of the series is you guys. Right, right, right. Well, like, I Roseanne know. did it the weekend after yes, May. Yes, yes. It's a bunch of, I think there's something so great about the Venetian in Vegas having female comedians. Just women. Just women, because it's like, first of all, if you want to come to Vegas, and yeah, it's good. There's a lot of funny women, and it's like, it's like, I think we're bringing some class to Vegas. Women performing with our clothes on, <laughs> for once. I think there's something funny. It's like, we're actually the kinkiest performers in Vegas. Like, let's go see that women with their clothes on. <laughs> Telling dirty jokes Telling Jokes. So congratulations on that, Thank and you. Um, you can catch everybody with me at the Venetian in Vegas. You're going to be there uh, November 28th and 29th. It's a two-night stand with Whitney Cummins, and also two broke girls and everything else. You got your curves, your Tinder. Thank you so much for coming. Up next, Dr. Gadget with some hot gadgets for your home. Don't go away. Nice. is our friend and he's here to show us some of the hottest gadgets for your home. Please say hello to Dr. Gadget. Hey Wendy, how are you? Hey everybody, how you doing? Ah! Let's have some fun. All right. With Thanksgiving around the corner, the holidays coming up, I got some cool stuff you're going to love and you might not think it's too bad of an idea for a gift. Okay. Okay, this is really great. This is from a company called KitchenHomemakers.com, which is a really cool website that has all the family-oriented stuff for the holidays. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, this is the Aliso Smart Iron. I, tech, 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 I touch technology, okay? It recognizes when you actually have a hold of it. Watch, it's the only iron with feet. Oh! Oh, wow. That's it. So it's going to just do this, right? And it's going to, the sole plate's going to separate. So no more burning. Okay, no. it's one touch technology, and the traditional irons, a traditional iron, if you left it up like that, it would burn, and look at the feet come out, right? Yes. So this thing will, this thing is amazing, and it will shut off in about eight minutes. So, so no, no more scorching, no more burning. No more having to turn around and, and say, this is I really think I cool. left the iron on. Right, this is a detailer tip right here that's going to actually allow you to steam, right, and just pass through... Get the collar nice and tight. Oh, that's beautiful. And it retails. It retails for $149 at kitchenhomemakers.com. Okay. But there's really one thing really cool about it. What? You guys are taking it home! Yeah. Yeah. This is the Silken Revite. Okay, the Silken Revite. Diamonds are a girl's best friend, right? Yes. But diamonds are now a skin's best friend. This oh, is wow. microderm abrasion, exfoliation with a vacuum. If you actually turn this on, you can lightly feel. Oh, yes. Okay, now these are diamond synthetic tips, okay? And these tips will go to find coarse details around the eye. But Silken Revite is going to give you that luxurious skin at home, save you thousands of dollars. Thousands of dollars, okay? But guess what? It retails for $129, and tell them, Wendy, you're all going home! <laughs> That's a good one. This is really good. Okay, this, this is really cool. This is from my... Okay, okay. this is really great. During the holidays, we all have to keep track of our weight, right? Yeah. This is from my great friends at, at uh, Overstock.com, okay? This is the Escali Smart Connect body scale okay it's bluetooth it's, it's so wireless thin. okay you're going to be able to use the app now so you weigh yourself in the morning right you forget about it yes come home now there's an app that you're going to keep a food journal calorie count nutritional background and it's all going to register off your body weight and mass index and we go from there right this retails for 149 but anybody watching wendy at, at uh, overstock can get it for 99 but, but guess what if you're in the wendy audience you're going home with it. <laughs> This is really cool. 
this is a product, this is a unique, absolutely a unique system, okay? This is the, the DFI stereo. Now, this is for around the house. This is the Hangout speaker. It retails for $99. But what makes it unique, you can hang it on a backpack. I love this. You can actually wear this around your neck. Yes. All right? Now, the other thing, too, is it's two speakers, Bluetooth. Let's say you get a phone call while you're cooking. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Music stops. Phone call comes in. You disconnect, music goes back. Guess what? Retails, retails for 99 bucks. But anybody watching Wendy can get it for 79 at the DFI Hanger website. But if you're in the Wendy audience, audience. Let's test the music out. That's really cool. That's your theme song. That's really cool. Wait. Wow. So music and Bluetooth. Really cool, huh? Wow. We'll turn it off now. Now, this is going to be great. Another great product for shopping for the holidays. you got cooking, right? This is the Phillips Air Fryer. Retails for $249. I love it. Now, this fryer. is from Overstock.com, too. Okay. They give us great stuff and great brands and great prices. Mm -hmm. But what's really cool about the air fryer is this is rapid air technology, okay? Mm -hmm. You are going to be able to fry. You're going to be able to bake. You're going to be able to grill. You're going to be able to roast all with rapid air technology, which means what? You are literally going to cook with 100% hot air. Evenly over the food. So you don't, you don't need oil? No, little, actually little. And, just, just a little oil, but right, not a lot. Not a, and rapid air technology allows you to cook jambalaya in 35 minutes. Wow. And you're not going to lose texture or taste or anything. No texture, taste loss. Now, how much is this? This is $249, but at Overstock, it's $199. But guess what? Today, everyone in the audience is going to <laughs> This is fantastic. Yes. All right. This is fantastic. Okay, guys. You guys are going to love this. Okay. This is the Nutra Ninja Ninja Kitchen System. You're going to get, for $249 retail, you're going to get all the drink cups, the food processor, the blender attachment, and right here we have this, this strawberry sensation. This but here's fantastic. what the thing is, all right? This is IQ technology. Now, what IQ technology is, is it actually recognizes the actually the, the um, accessory that you have in it. So it's going to light up, and we're going to go ahead and turn it on, and we're going to blend, right? And right in there, then we power it up. Oh, no. Okay, well, that's all right. That's, that's not you, that's us. That's all right. Oh. That's all right. We're gonna, here's, what, here's what happens is this, this is going to actually recognize the technology that, and the accessory that's in there, and then you're going to be able to do the smoothie, the strawberry sensation, yes. and what's really cool. And i got to tell you something. This retails for $249, but I want to sh share something really quick. All the fans of Wendy have been really great to me, Twitter, Facebook, and everything, and they always ask me questions where I can buy it and where I can do stuff. Uh -huh. So I want them to check out Shop Dr. Gadget. Finally, it's here. Shop Dr. Gadget. Yeah, okay. I want you to check it out. This retails for? $249. Guess what? You're all taking it home! There you go! Great job, Gadget. <laughs> you always bring such great stuff for more information and to enter for your chance to win these great products. Log on to my Facebook page. Ask Wendy is next. the inside scoop on this year's American Music Awards. I want to hear all the juicy backstage stories. Monday on an all-new Wendy. This November, it's November here at Wendy. We're making it rain all month long. And you at home can cash in. Cha-ching! Log on to my Facebook page and sign up for your chance to win. Watch us here every weekday. And if we announce your name, you could win cold hard cash. The November rain today. Welcome back. So it's time for Ask Wendy. Have a seat, everybody, except for you. How you doing? How you doing, Wendy? <laughs> Good. Okay, so I have a huge crush on DJ Booth, and <laughs> <laughs> I just I, I just can't help myself. Tall, dark, handsome, great complexion. I'm down with the swirl. Okay. <laughs> I don't see any ring on his finger, so I was wondering... No, Booth is not married. Is, is it okay that I approach him after the show? Well, <laughs> well now hold on, hold on. So, what's your name? Where are you from? I'm Samantha, and I'm from Syacet. Syacet, so yes. that means that if something really did pop off, that you all could keep this going. Oh, for sure. Okay. Well, what do you do for a living? Do you have a job? I'm in between jobs right now. I was a nursery school teacher. Uh -huh. I'm thinking about going back to school to further my education. Kids, that means you have patience. A lot of patience. Do you have children yourself? I don't. You don't have any children? Okay, well, let's see what Boof says. Boof? <laughs> um, 
How you doing? Uh, oh, I'd be better if you said yes. Okay, so here, here's the thing. Uh -huh. How about if I send you all for lunch and drinks after this? Oh, yeah. there, there, there's this place. There's this place near our studio. It's called the Belgian Beer Cafe. Booth likes to eat. Booth likes to drink. Yeah. Neither one of you have to bring your wallets because I'm paying this time. Yeah. Okay. Good luck. Okay. Go. Yeah. Good luck. Into our rainmaker money booth. Don't go far. It's so easy to get fabulous Wendy Show bling. Just go to wendyshow.com and click Shop Wendy. T shirts, diva fans, and my favorite mugs, plus more. Are you shopping? This is Peter. He's an event coordinator from Long Island. It's time to step into our November rainmaker, Peter. Yeah. All right, let's do this. Go ahead. You All step right. in. John's going to open the door for you, Peter. You got to keep your hands above your waist, and you have an advantage because you're tall. And that's all I'm going to say. Thirty seconds on the clock. Oh, by the way, Peter, you're playing for Katrina Bonner, Katrina Bonner in Cleveland. And go. Yeah. Anything that drops is not yours, okay. but you had the height advantage. See, you grabbed from the yeah. ceiling. During the commercial break, we're going to count Peter's money and see how much he won for he and Katrina Bonner watching in Cleveland. Don't miss it. Out of our November Rainmaker, and you won for you and Katrina Bonner in Cleveland $1,080. Congratulations, Peter. What are you going to do with the money? Going out for drinks after the show. Oh, that's a lot of drinking and eating. <laughs> Congratulations. We'll be right back. today. Whitney Cummings, you are a pisser. <laughs> Dr. Gadget, thank you for all the gifts, my studio audience. Yeah! And co-host, my studio audience, happy holidays in advance, and thank you so much for being here today. Tomorrow, our hot talk panel is going to break down the biggest stories of the week. Plus, from the hit show Brooklyn Nine-Nine, the very funny Chelsea Peretti stops by, and one more Wendy Watcher jumps into our big November money booth, okay? I love you for watching today, and I'll see you next time on Wendy. Bye. Yeah!